All right, I just finished doing my editing thing. Sending the kids all off to school. They all have late start today, so I got them all off. Ashley went good today. Um, I have a clean house. This is what it looks like to have chores done. Clean house. And it's quiet. I kind of wish, given that I am done with my chores, or not my chores, my chores are editing. The kids have chores in the kitchen. Um, to be fair, oh, hang on. There are a few dishes Kaylee left to soak. I'm gonna go ahead and load those for her. And I think I can start this. Yes, I think I can start this for sure. So that Abby can unload when she gets home. But I have something interesting to do today. Um, and I thought I would try and take you, oh, try and take you along my little journey. I am volunteering for the American Red Cross. Um, and being their volunteer host, um, I didn't sign up with them. It's actually an assignment for me to do for church because our building is being used to host their blood drive. And so they've asked one of us to be the host for the blood drive to foresee like people coming in and out of the building. And I think maybe I'll be checking people in. I don't know, every time I've done it, they've always had like one of their nurses or technicians checking people in can't imagine I should have access to people's like private information I don't know but I've been deemed as a volunteer with the American Red Cross I've had one zoom call with um, someone from there and went through everything and hopefully it's fairly easy it is a technically a probably six or seven hour commitment today throughout their whole blood drive, but I do not have to be there myself. I can delegate and I like to delegate. <laughs> so I normally, even if I had had all seven hours to do it, I wouldn't have stayed the whole time. I would have still asked for volunteers to come and help me. Um, I'm just kind of in charge of it. And so I have asked for or five of my friends from church to also come and help volunteer. And when, um, I need to check my email, so I need to do. So I have a little time slot um, for me to fill this morning, help them get there, get the doors open, get set up. And then um, I'm only actually gonna stay for two hours now. Because I, I need to check my email. Ashley's therapy appointment needs to happen today. I know she doesn't want to have it, but it needs to happen after the week and a half we've had. So I've got to check my email. Because of this blood drive, I had told her therapist I needed to kind of rearrange a time to have it, and I wasn't even gonna do it today. And then after the week we had, I was like, nope, that's it. We have to have this. We have to do this, even if I'm sitting in a car after I pick her up from school or something. But it's part of why I can't stay for even longer than two hours um, as a volunteer because I just, I have to choose her first. I have to choose her. But let me show you really quick. So anyway, that's what I have to do. Check the email, see what time I can do her therapy. And then, um, and then tonight I am going to do my walking again. I'm not gonna push myself to get 10 miles but I have not walked <laughs> at all. I have not done a good job with it. Life has gotten in the way um, and I haven't walked. So I need to tonight, but I'm not gonna push myself to 10 miles, but I am gonna push myself to walk as much as I can. So we're gonna go for it tonight. Um, but Jason brought me a new pair of shoes last night. Um, they had one of the reps come and our employee, our store manager is like, you need to carry these. Take a pair home to Dana and see if she likes them. They're Hoka's and they're like creamy colored and I love that they're all the same color. Kind of takes away from kind of the look of that huge sole. You know how much is there, but it kind of gets covered up. Let me set you down when I put them on. It kind of, um, you know, it just blends in better and they're creamy, not white, white. I need to take the laces off. I actually went to the bus stop in these this morning. 
and I realized that this lace thing, because you can either have these laces on it and lace them up, or you can have pull cord. And I was like, yep, that pull cord is staying on there. So I just need to take the laces off. Maybe I'll give those laces to Ashley. She needs new laces on her cheer shoes. So, I'm gonna put these on and get ready to go. But I, I love them. And they're perfect for the outfit I have on when I'm wearing um, like these, the green colored pants I got from like Costco. Because, let me change you. Okay, the lighting is better coming with the window behind me. Um, they look good with it because I'm trying to just go casual when I'm wearing these pants. I'm not like wearing a nice sweater or anything, but I don't want to have big black shoes or big blue shoes, but I still want to be comfortable. So I went back to wearing like my slippers yesterday when I wore these pants, but that looks really cute. I like it. It's like the little sporty look and then you just cinch it up and pull that little cord, but I need two hands to do that. But I love it, and I like the the look of the little different colored laces, but it's not too too much of a difference. See how it looks with the pants? I just think it looks soft. Like this is a soft color, neutral, and that's a soft cream. I really like it, and I kind of like these little accents of the golden color too. Just got two packages from Amazon. I have, sorry my voice was like really weird. Um, I ordered everything for the girls' birthdays, everything I can think of for Hawaii, and a few extra things. So most of that you can't see until I do a Hawaii haul video and or the kids' birthdays. <laughs> so I can't really show you most of what I got here. I actually have probably like six shipments coming in from Amazon, three shipments coming in from Shein, and a dress of mine that I ordered coming from chick soul so anyway you will eventually see this stuff I'm just you know gonna make you wait I just don't know what all this stuff is so it's kind of a I know what I ordered but it's fun to like open packages all right let's go help the red cross it's kind of fun You can kind of see their process. They've got their little van and all their equipment. Obviously, I'm not going to film them too much, like them individually. We'll show the process, but I just asked her how many tables that she wants me to set up. We've got this whole gym. Um, I really film when I go get my blood drawn, but the other blood bank does their donations in this building too. So I need to pull out seven of these tables. It's not an easy task to do alone, <laughs> but. We're gonna get my steps and my little workout in to pull out seven of these tables. She knows that this is the size we have here. So we're gonna put the phone down, or camera, and oh. get going. I'm all done with my little volunteer time slot. Super easy. Like, I just had to, I mean I got it all set up, um, but then I just had to um, scan people's driver's license. And then, have them write their name on a little, you know, hello, my name is, and I am donating blood today, sticker. And I was gonna pull out my camera and kind of show all that, but I had enough people coming in <laughs> to donate that I didn't have a lot of time. But, and I didn't wanna have them see my camera when I didn't have people coming in. I just didn't want them to feel like I was recording like private information from the computers and stuff. So I just kind of kept the camera away obviously but it was super easy to sign people in um, and then they go off and do their donation and I don't do anything beyond that um, so I just had a friend from church take over for me luckily she came in right when someone was checking in and so she got to see me do the whole process and then um, someone else came in from church that we both know and so it was a very comfortable one for her to practice doing um, on her own um, and got him all signed in himself. And so I am headed to Ashley. She is home from school already, um, but I literally just, she just barely got there. So I'm just a few minutes away from being home. And then 
we will pack her up a lunch or a dinner I should say and I'm gonna change my clothes and get all ready to go and walk at the gym while she does her cheer um, another one of her friends is trying to we're trying to decide if they do a cheer camp this summer um, kind of give them something to do but I I can't really uh, plan my summer yet until Abby's schedule gets set for her surgery this friend has offered to like help Ashley get there because she'll be going to the same place but in my mind I need to like make that surgery as a priority but anyway I we're gonna go walk <laughs> hang out with Ashley I told her if she wants to go get food um, before we go kind of get filled up um, a little bit before we start that class then she can just have like a power bar and a, and a like an energy drink not an energy drink with like caffeine in it but like a vitamin water or her um, other drinks protein drinks and stuff so um, I think that's it I don't know it worked out great to volunteer I'm sure I'm gonna be asked to go again and <laughs> the next time they um, come so well hi Daisy Hi! Hi! That's a fun surprise. What did you teach her? Don't give her peanut butter for everything. Sit, Daisy, sit. <laughs> of course she's gonna go through. You probably got peanut butter on your pants. <laughs> she's still trying to lick it. She has it on her nose! You got it on her nose! Poor Daisy. Oh, you gotta wipe her nose off. She can't get it. Okay, no more. We'll put this away. She's gonna, gonna associate peanut butter with our house and she's never gonna wanna leave. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good? Yeah. You're gonna wipe, get her all cleaned up? She can come. Yeah, I can get your nose cleaned off. There. She I, no more. It's all gone. How are you doing today, huh? Is mama gone on another trip? Mama's busy now that she's retired, huh? Yeah, she's got to go see the grandbabies. Huh. Okay, Ashley has to take you home soon, okay? But I'm glad you came to play. All right, got, just got to the gym. Ashley's down in her class. I got worried that I didn't bring these. It's like I literally would go home right now and get them. Can't do this. Chelsea's at home taking care of Daisy until Kaylee and Abby get home. I'm gonna tuck you away and go and walk. See how much I can do. I never got it what you had to go. I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. And there's no way I can beat it, cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. She got the glitter and the fame. This wasn't enough for you. You guys, you are not going to believe what happened tonight. First of all, Ashley, what did you win? Let me try and turn the car on and get better lights here. What did you win? Turn on your lights back there. <laughs> what did you win? What is it called? Um, a megaphone. A megaphone? But what award is it? Um... You gotta write your name on it. Yeah. <laughs> you got that from your um, coach from, Power from your Power Squad uh, cheer team. And it, what it, was it for? Order, Just like she have to order my uniform. I know she keeps telling me she'll send me the email, but she hasn't sent it to me. So I need to order it. I will. She's exhausted. Yes. Yeah. And her finger got hurt at school today. I don't know what it is with her fingers, but they always get hurt. Okay. So. Just at the point, I was about 10 miles in, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go over what I did last week. Fantastic, but I was done. Kaylee texted me and she's like, can you get me Cafe Rio? Um, and I was like, yeah, but I'm not going to be home for another two hours. Um, and she's like, hey, can, I, can you order it, pay for it, and then I'll go pick it up? And I was like, whatever. So I stopped, and I was like, I'm done. I'm just gonna end here at 10 miles and call it a night. I still had two hours left, but I was really, really tired. And as I was trying to make her order, um, one of her um, friend's mom dropped her off to do the last cheer class. 
and kind of tapped me on the shoulder and she's like, hey, you wanna keep walking together? Because I was sitting down. And I was like, yeah, let me try and do this order for Kaylee and then we'll keep walking. And then we walked and walked and walked and talked and talked and talked about Hawaii and traveling and just all of our different experiences and like tips and tricks for kids and should she do the zip line because she's going to Maui in the summertime and so we were just like going back and forth talking up a storm <laughs> and just as these kids were coming out of and I hadn't looked at my like my mileage at this point I my I can't feel my feet they're numb um and they're coming out with her little megaphone their class is over and I looked at my mileage for the day and I freaking walked a half marathon. I am at 12.67 miles for the day. And I could cry. And now Kaylee wants me to get her AirPods from Jacob's house. <gasps> I'm so tired. Um, I freaking, I walked a marathon, or half marathon. I walked 13 miles today. So I did a lot. I walked 13 miles. No, you didn't. Yes. Well, you did a lot of steps today. For sure, you're you're tired. You can have the first shower. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm I, I literally can't feel my feet right now. I'm not gonna be able to walk on them when I go to get out of my car to get my salad and then her AirPods at her boyfriend's house. But I'm, I'm kind of really proud of myself, and I'm proud of her. You worked really hard tonight, kiddo, and you're tired. So we're gonna get her home. Um, I'm gonna try and get Jason's reaction to telling him how much I walked tonight and, and then this. Be about this. Yeah, because we've never seen someone get a megaphone before hey, um, Where I'm gonna put it? You just put it in your room or put it in your window so you can see it outside. I don't know We're gonna head home and um, I'm gonna get his reaction All right, so Mash a megaphone. A She megaphone. got a ward in her power squad What's the award? I don't know. Um, like, I she was the best. I, she working hard. Why, yeah, I was working hard. Like every every time they get I, the I, hardest I, worker I, of the night gets the megaphone. I, five girl. I learned so fast into this. One. Yeah. You're tired. <laughs> yeah, no, she's exhausted. But they've had this for years, so this know, is years of like signatures. It's all yeah. The, yeah. It's inside. Inside. Um, Jason, guess what I did? Ten miles. I walked a half marathon. What is that? 13. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> I guess it's maybe a little bit more. Technically, oh, I haven't. Point I'm point three or something. 30 away from it. Oh, look at you. You, got stuff. you can't read your old purse just sitting back there. Someone's going to think there's... Usually, it's covered up with this jacket. It's fine. I know. Wow, look at a lot of... I know. I got a, a lot, lot of, of stuff in there. I've been in the car all day. <laughs> Back off, dude. <laughs> <sighs> okay, you go find a place to put that, and then um, I'm gonna go hop in the shower, and then you can go get in the bath. Okay? So yeah, I uh, I got to 10 miles, and I was like, all right, I'm good. I don't need to do more. And then um, Ella's mom tapped me on the shoulder when I was trying to order Kaylee's food. She's like, hey, do you want to keep walking with me? I was like, oh, what is on my foot, Ash? Oh, just this is why I don't like these things. Get it off of me. It's freaking slime ball. Yeah, so then I just walked and talked with her. <laughs> to like, she's like, you can do it. And then we realized when I hit 12 miles and told her, and she's like, let's keep going. You can do it. You can do it. So we just kept talking, and, and I, I literally have like bruises and like blisters on my right foot, but. That's not, I'm not talking to dad anymore. I'm talking to myself. I've already oh, explained yeah. this to all of you. I'm gonna sign off. <laughs> Take care. Good night. What's that? What's it say? Okay. Try it. Easy.